love country because it's real. It's just my lifestyle. It's who I am. That's what country is. It's about family. It's about America. It's right on the road. From the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. Let me show you how a country girl gets it done, y'all. You're on with Britt Bailey. And we are back and we are live. <laughs> Hello. That was amazing. I love that video. Thank you. Thank you. I'm betting that you saw a couple friends in there. I sure did. And a couple people that I run away from. I, <laughs> I drink too much whiskey when I'm with Randall King. I can't. I got to I got to go the other way. Right. Oh, my gosh. That boy. I just talked to him earlier this week. And my goodness. <laughs> I know. He's the best. I, I actually was just looking a year ago. He took me on his like honky tonk Christmas acoustic tour. It was me, him, and Jake Worthington, and it was oh, a blast. I bet. Your liver probably did not like you. No, not at all. Mm-hmm. And it was like to Sunday through Wednesday, and then I had to get back home and go on the road Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Ooh. I was cussing him. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Well, Bree Bagwell, I am so glad that you are here joining us today on this adventure down the road. We're doing all things from NFR, and you are going to be at Cowboy Christmas this afternoon playing. Yes, I play at one, so um, kind of an odd show time for me. I'm not used to hitting the stage till you know nighttime, but I'm really excited to get there and and be there in the afternoon. It's on the Cowboy Christmas stage, and it's just me acoustic, so it should be a fun show. Awesome. So now, are you going to shop beforehand or after? I know I only brought like so much cash, and I'm like, this is all that I'm allowed to spend. Uh, it hasn't been quite the year for making money for me, of course, <laughs> for any of us, really. So I'm, I'm giving myself a very strict budget. Uh, well, I tell you, you always look so put together on your outfits and everything that you wear. Is there, you know, is this something that comes natural or do you try at it? Oh, that is so sweet. Thanks. Because I haven't put my eyelashes on yet. That has to be in the parking lot when I get there. Um, I actually, I have a lot of friends that have boutiques and so they have really helped. I would not say that I'm good at putting together an outfit. So like, Actually, my friend Cindy, she owns this boutique called The Glam Wagon. We just partnered up and I released my like a clothing collection because what I do a lot is like I'm wearing all black today, but then I have like this scarf. So I like to get like one thing that stands out that I don't have to think about. Right. <laughs> so thanks for saying I like put together because mainly I just cheat. I just like <laughs> pick one good thing, like one good pair of boots and then all black. Awesome. Well, I tell you what, that wild ride and the cheetah print is definitely in this year. So very oh, good. good on that. <laughs> good. I'm on trend. Yes. Yes. Well, and speaking of, you know, this isn't your first NFR. I remember watching you on stage open up the NFR. How was that to walk out there on stage in front of all those people in that arena? That was surreal. I mean, uh, my family rodeos and so I grew up around it. And so getting to be on that stage was really awesome. And um, I was telling you before the video started, the NFR, like I got there and there was all these girls backstage in red boots and they had provided like backup dancers and they all had red boots on and they were amazing. And there was like fireworks and like, it was the best, and it was it was very surreal getting to sing live in that arena. Ooh, that's awesome. That is so cool, and it is, you know. And and now with NFL being, you're from Texas, so it's right here in your backyard. How is that for you? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm a new Texican because I'm from New Mexico, but I've been in Texas like 14 years, so I'm kind of like a, I'm an import. Um, that works. I I'm excited for 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 Fort Worth having it. I mean, I feel like so many of us go from Texas every year. So it's kind of like maybe after all these years, it's coming to us right? We go every year to play music. And so it's, it's really fun being able to just drive. That's awesome. Well, and speaking of your music, you have a new single out called As Soon As You. Tell me a little bit more about this song because the video is great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We did that video during quarantine. So I didn't, you know, I couldn't go shopping. I ordered that wedding dress off Amazon for $99. And wow. my dad was like, that's the kind of wedding I could get behind right there. Right. Um, I think we had like, one cameraman, like masks, you know, it was, like, it was crazy. And um, so I, I wrote that song about basically taking your time to find someone who like supports your dream. I know like when you do anything as a, as a female, sometimes it's, it's hard to find that guy that wants you to be in the bar every night, you know, <laughs> yeah, uh, or male or female, I guess that's a hard thing. And so just waiting for that right person that supports your dreams. Yeah. And you have found a person that does that. I know we were just talking like 
we're buying property together next week and um, it's been a year now of just happiness and i told him i was like i keep waiting for something to go wrong you know i'm just like what is what is gonna go wrong like what and sorry this car pulled up and <laughs> and but it's not it's it's all great and he's like it's okay it can be just great and that's so nice so. that is that is well, and speaking of things that are good and and that type of thing, are you going to have a, a weirdo coming up to your window? I might. <laughs> okay, well, it's, it's going to be on camera, camera if it happens. Yeah, no doubt. Exactly. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that's, that's the beauty of being live. Right. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Yep, exactly. Here's my coffee. And, oh, yes. Yeah, and I'm in a parking lot because I'm driving, so. See, well, at least it's too early for beer. Even though it is right. NFR, but <laughs> right, right. I don't know if I, if I was there at NFR, I might have already had one. Yeah, yeah. Uses, NFR is an excuse to to drink beer at any hour. That is true, <laughs> and also whiskey, and that kind of goes along with your Christmas song. Yes, I recorded a Christmas song called "A Whiskey Christmas" with my friend Sarah Hobbs, and um, it's I wrote it on a plane. It's a silly little song, but I have a. Um, a sponsorship with Rebecca Creek Whiskey out of San Antonio, and they are awesome. I've been working with them for eight years. I had dinner with the owner's wife last night. Like they're just like my family, and so Rebecca Creek is just doing wonderful. And so I'm thankful that that you know. Plus, I get whiskey. Yeah. Which is good. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Easier right. on the wallet, less on the liver. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. So now, what are your plans and goals, kind of looking ahead to 2021? I know none of us have a crystal ball, but still. <laughs> Yeah, we are actually, I'm recording this week. We're recording two songs, um, like virtually the, the bass player and the drummer are in Nashville guitar players in Austin. And then I'm recording, uh, the vocals at my house in New Braunfels with uh, my boyfriend has all kinds of recording, great recording equipment. So, so I'll have, that'll be our third song. I'll have three songs ready to go. And then hopefully we'll do two more and put out a, an EP next year. So that's exciting. It's really interesting you know, not being in a studio, but also finding out that you can do it that way. Like you can, you can be creative and make it work. And, and I'm excited to have new music. That's fantastic. Yeah. Some of those silver linings of the pandemic that we never knew would actually be there. Right. 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 And then I've been writing a lot and, um, it, it's just been great. I canceled 75 shows. And then Paul said, that's not including the ones you would have booked. So who knows how many shows yeah. Um, and it's just been like devastating. And for me, like the hardest part is like my band, I have five guys that are full time and that's all they do. Cause we're on the road so much. Sure. So it's just been kind of like emotionally tough. So that's why like recording and having something to look forward to, I think like, I'm really excited about the new stuff. Oh yeah, most definitely. Well, and you know, that you've got a lot of things kind of in the awards category that kind of came through this year also. Yeah, I won um, Female Vocalist of the Year at the TCMAs and the TRRR Awards this year. So that was that was really nice. I mean, I, I always think any female on the road deserves it because it's so tough. And I'm like, this is for everybody. Um, <laughs> but it does feel good to win. You know, it just kind of keeps 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 your spirits up. Yeah, especially here, especially here in a pandemic world <laughs> we're in. <laughs> right. uh, and it's not going away. I had, you know, I had a show. I was supposed to be up in... Uh, at the NFR last night and it canceled the venue closed so it's it's yeah. it's still happening the hits are still coming yeah well and that's it is it's been with NFR this year people have done a really good job of being very fluid with stuff because things have been changing I mean from the first day of when it started to what the governor announced and and kind of going forward with everything and it is just a little bit different and I suppose it's really good that we have it in Texas because you know things can be a little bit more fluid and there's a lot more things to that have been open this entire time. Right. And I mean, if I was just talking to somebody else about that, like the people in Nashville, like what are they, the musicians they're doing? We've been really fortunate to be able to still play mm -hmm. some and, and keep it safe. And, and, you know, I don't get to do things like I used to, like I don't go to the merch table afterwards to sign or take pictures. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, but, we're still able to do it and the bars are really working hard to like do it safely. And it, it's, it's not, it's really nice because otherwise, you know, how, how are people going to survive? <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I thank you for coming on and being part of this adventure on the road with me. And it's been great to catch up and I look forward to spending your new song on our, our station. 
Oh, well, thank you very much. And you look great and you're awesome and easy to talk to. And I could probably do this for another hour if I didn't have to go play a show. Hey, I, <laughs> I would be game with that, but we'll have to catch up on the next time. I'm going to try and make it to the show, but if I don't make it, I will definitely see you down the road. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. That's what we love. Love it. That was another On the Road exclusive with Brit. That's perfect. We'll take it. Social Butterfly. I can't believe this thing went viral. On 93.9 The Country Move.